Business is booming. What's going on team? It's Ricky with TechBud Solutions and kickstarting the month of October with a very solid green day. Every day is not like this. I just want to make sure that you guys are all aware of that. Uh, but I performed very well with the overall market today. I'm going to be talking a little bit about that, but I'm also going to be talking about like the, the market is doing exceptionally well, especially even with the talk of the stimulus check not being passed. I actually thought that that would act as a negative notion. Uh, but if anything, it did pull back a little bit, almost like when the market opened, but it's been rallying ever since. And and it kind of keeps on going. You guys know that I love trading reversals and I love trading my go-to SQQQ and TQQQ. And I've been doing very, very well. I thought I was gonna finish the day at $2,000 profit, which is already a solid day for me. Uh, but let me update you guys on this. Again, some of this is based off of my open position, but right now on the day, I'm up over $3,700 on the day. 1,000 of that coming from TQs and 1,300 of that coming from SQs, which are my actual day trades, which I what I want you to like, okay, this is what this guy made today, uh, but I made it happen. And it wasn't that it's like super easy. It wasn't that, you know, uh, every day is like this. And I want to make sure that you guys all understand that. But I think that uh, in the very beginning of like, you know, during my live trading session with the Learn Plan Prof group, um, we had an amazing time. Uh, it started off kind of slow because if you guys see when the market opened, there's a lot of consolidation. It began to sell off. Direction became a little bit more clear. As the market sold off, I jumped into SQQQ, right? Because that goes up when the market goes down. Once it found a support, guess what I did? Jumped into TQs. I was talking to Ish right now and I was telling him, I was like literally almost every single trade that I took today um, was not just good. It was like, it played out almost exactly according to plan. And you know, we all have those days. We all have those days where like, holy moly, like every trade that I take is a bad trade, right? That was kind of me like last week on Monday. But today, you know, <laughs> I need to pat myself on the back, right? And I really hope that you guys are uh, doing just as well too, right? The overall market's up. It's up 1.25%, especially for all the tech stocks. Apple is performing a little bit different. Uh, there's some news that came out on it. So it's not performing the way that I anticipated. Apple, if anything, is pretty much break even. And with the market being up 1%, you'd actually expect more from Apple. But uh, some news came out that actually dropped Apple. So I actually think I'm going to buy more Apple. And just to keep you guys up to date right now, I have 200 shares of Apple. So not too much. And I'm going to be buying about 50 to maybe 100 more. I love buying on the dip, right? So it's not, I love buying when it begins to push up because again, as of right now, direction is still unclear, especially during this election period. It's not like I'm buying a lot, uh, but about 50 to maybe a hundred shares and then I can hold that. So I like to buy for a good deal uh, and then be able to ride, you know, the recovery and stuff like that. So I'm very thankful for how the day played out. Um, and direction was just very, very true today. Uh, you guys could see that when it was beginning to indicate signs of an uptrend, it would aggressively push up. It would become overbought looking at the MACD, looking at the RSI, you know, indicating signs of a pullback. So a reversal happened. It broke below the EMA line. So when the market sells off, I jump into SQs. It sold off, became oversold, looking at the MACD, looking at the RSI, looking at the price action. I wait for confirmation. I buy TQs. I ride the recovery, becomes overbought. I sell TQs. I jump into SQs. SQs goes up when the market goes down. I buy TQs and then ride the recovery. And now because of this pullback, you guys might be asking, well, what's next, Ricky? I'm watching my position size, just like we talked about in yesterday's second video. It's super important. Uh, I already hit and exceeded my daily goal, so I don't have to trade or aggressively trade anymore to try to make the most money. And this is something that I've learned for myself. I have a 200 share position size on TQs, which is fine. It's not anything crazy. It's about $20,000. And based off of what I normally trade with about 60 to $70,000, you know, it puts me in a nice little balance, right? It's enough money where I feel like I have enough skin in the game, but not so much that if things go south, I won't hesitate to cut losses. And that's kind of the balance that I wish you guys could all work on. I want you guys to be both effective and efficient. And I think that's what ultimately led to my success with the overall idea that I performed pretty well with the market today. We all have our good days. We all have our bad days. I hope that you're on the good side of the spectrum today. Uh, but again, the, the month is young. We're day one, right? So regardless if your day was, you know, green, blue, red, whatever the case might be, at the end of the day, it's, it's the simple and small progress every day that can lead to big results. And I'm very excited to follow up with you 30 days from now and see if you've seen some form of improvement. You have nothing but time, again, so if you're learning how to trade, focus on the learning part. Stop obsessing so much about the trying to make the most money now when you're still learning how to trade. You need to understand that good things come with time and the stock market is no exception. So please watch your position size, please focus on the learning part, and if you make money, 
on top of that, that's just the cherry on top. So again, I'm excited to keep you guys up today. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, it should be popping up right here. I will be posting on my story what ends up happening. So make sure you guys follow up. I hope that I earned your thumbs up. I hope that you're excited for this overall market. I wanna uh, follow up with you guys uh, based off of my video uh, last night, right? Uh, my second video, if we go on the 180 day, four hour time frame, we can see that we are now above the EMA line. Uh, we are above the SMA line as well. It looks like we're almost making these higher lows, which is a very good sign. But with the news of the stimulus check, with the you know potential debates coming up, uh, we'll bring a lot of volatility. So you know, put your seatbelt on because it's going to be a bumpy road. But again, like we said, nothing in life worth having should ever come easy, and the stock market is no exception. So we will see you tomorrow for our live trading session. It's going to be a nice one for Friday. I normally don't perform the best on Friday, but I would love just to show you a raw and true example of what it's like to day trade in the stock market. And if you want to join us, click the second link down below, and you can join our Learn Plan Profit team and watch me trade live as soon as tomorrow. Until then, we'll see you guys on the next one. I hope that we earn your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy, team.